Today we're gonna to talk about setting the fluid heater, in this particular case on an XM. Before we start turning on the heater, we always wanna come down here and verify it's to off, one or zero. Once we can do that, we can come over here and turn on that particular heat zone. All right, once we turn on that heat zone, we go back to the heater and we're gonna slowly turn that up. And what we're looking for here is until that green light turns on. Just enough, a little bit over ambient. Once we get it to that point, we're gonna turn on the machine and we're gonna circulate it at about one GPM or half a GPM just to get things moving. Once we get material moving, what we're gonna see is that light's gonna turn off because now we've pushed material through there and it's taking away that energy. We're just gonna slowly turn it up a little bit more and we're gonna repeat that process until we're getting the temperature that we're looking for. Keep in mind that every time you turn it up, you need to give it more and more time because we're getting more and more heat into that material. Once we get it to about 20 to 25 degrees before our spray temperature, what we can do then is increase our flow rate to roughly one GPM for that particular side, and that's gonna help increase the temperature in the hopper. Once we've achieved that temperature in the hopper that we're looking for, again, roughly 20 to 25 degrees from spray temperature or less, depending on your environment, we can back that flow rate down to about a half a GPM to basically warm up the rest of the system to get it to spray temperature, and then we're off and running. Once we're done for the day, what's nice is that setting, we can just keep it there for the next day. And all we have to do is turn off that heat zone, saving us time tomorrow because it's already preset. Also, it's a good idea to write down what that number is, so in case someone does, and does come in at night and adjust it without your knowledge. From there, you're set to go.